Hello guys and welcome to this video. Yuri is here. Today I am going to show you a nice trick how to configure your Git to push to two different remotes with a single push command. I've got two repositories set up specifically for this exercise. So the one that you see on the screen is foo, has single file called readmeMD with some text inside and exactly the same repository called bar which will act as a second remote with another readmeMD file. So locally I have cloned them in a nice folder and they are both there and configured as my remote. Sorry if I fingered that. So I've got two remotes, bar and foo, with their respective GitHub URLs. This one goes to bar git, this one goes to foo git. So what I want to do, I have also a commit locally on my hard drive. So the contents of my readme MD is slightly different. Double pushed commit here, while double push demo there. So once you see that this commit, this text appears on both remotes with a single push command, that will mean that our goal is basically accomplished and we're good. So what I'm gonna do, let me first list the remotes that I have. I will add third remote called all and this will be a magical remote that will have two different push URLs and with two different push URLs Git will push to both of them. It is a very little known feature of Git, but it's really nice. Sometimes it comes really handy. So what I'll start with, I'll create another remote, just with a normal git remote add command. I'll call this remote all, and I'll take any URLs. Doesn't really matter which one you take at this point. You'll see out why. Now I have three remotes in my working directory configured: all, bar, and foo. And all right now just acts as a regular remote, just does exactly the same as bar. So what I'll do now, I'll call a command to add another push URL to this remote called all. I, I will be issuing two commands to do that. So git remote set URL and I'll add two flags. Add, meaning that I want to add a an URL and push, which means I want to set push URL. I'll do that with remote called all and finally, I'll set the URL. The interesting thing that after I complete this command, let me take this URL, after I complete this command, it will not yet set the second URL. So let's see how our remotes look now. Git remote minus V. So you'll see it just like changed the all push URL from bar to foo, didn't really do much. But the interesting thing is that if you issue this command for the second time and you replace it with bar git, here's where the magic will start to happen. Git remote minus v. Now you have an interesting thing. So you see bar and foo, they both have just two URLs, one for push and second one for fetch, while remote called all now have three URLs, which is push, fetch and another push. And if you look carefully, these are the two URLs that I've added from the other remotes. Now let's see what will happen if I try now to push to remote called all. In a minute, it's pushing to the first remote and immediately afterwards it is pushing to the second remote. So foo git and bar git both received their master updates. Now let's check out how GitHub page looks. Double pushed commit here and double pushed commit here. So both remotes are now in sync and both remotes received the updates from a single push command. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was useful. See you in the other video.